hello and welcome back to my youtube channel warm sweet honey i'm going to tell you a little bit about my all of a sudden fetish not a fetish enjoyment more than anything last year i went to a coffee shop called the mulberry tree cafe and in there they have teapots with infusions um pots inside them for the loose tea and it smells absolutely wonderful the tea i bought from there i've found difficulties trying to find loose tea in um normal supermarkets so i sent away to harrods uh, for some loose tea which came yesterday and obviously I was out so I'm waiting for them to come today so whilst I was in town yesterday I went into um, Wichards um, which is um, a shop just for teas um, and I'm not sure they must do coffees but anyway I've got this Chelsea breakfast tea which I had for my um, first cup of tea this morning and which is a loose leaf tea and it's um, what it said it is a blending crisp aromatic Ceylon leaves with the famously malty tea of Kenya we've crafted a stronger richer alternative to our classic English breakfast. It's just the thing when you need a little encouragement starting off your day, which it did. So that's the one I had earlier. So for my second cup of tea, which I've not long had with my breakfast, but it's more of a brunch, I had um, duck egg on toast and i made a it's called dark chocolate flavored black tea now this that is in a gray caddy oh let me tell you i also brought um some of their chocolate which was reduced to six pounds from 12 pounds <laughs> so i'm not really a chocolatey person um so it's whether it's enjoyable or not i don't know but we will see so anyway what is this um about the um is it the chocolate tea the dark chocolate it says as food pairings go we think that ch chocolate with tea is one of the best. So why not combine the two flavours in a cup? We've blended black tea from India and Indonesia, which generous helpings of cocoa nibs, creating an ar aromatic and seriously chocolatey tea. Think rich chocolate truffle with a hint of butter. So, that's those. So, I treated myself to a new teapot because I've got an eternal bow teapot, which doesn't have an infusion fusion <laughs> um, inside it. And I did buy a new one from Ikea with um, an infusion pot in the middle. But the tea doesn't seem to stay that warm. So I bought myself a new old-fashioned teapot. Let me just show you. Old-fashioned. It is a bit of one of the heavy teapots. Um, I've never really been a tea person. Um, I just had my PG tips, as I say, in a cup. So this is um, my new tea cosy it's got the squirrels on the woodpecker i don't know what that is there and an owl 
Now I am very um, soppy with wildlife animals, well with any animals really. So um, I tasted the chocolate, that's my turn I woke up. Um, let me show you as I'm pouring my tea. Let's go to the fridge for a drop of milk. Hmm. So, let me bring you back up. Yes, it does have a smell of chocolate. Mmm. Bit of a strange taste. Mmm. But very refreshing, I must say. I think I could get used to it. I could. Yesterday, she gave me an envelope. Um, I signed up with an email. I got some herbal teas. That one is a passion fruit and mango flavored green tea, and the other one is a Chelsea garden tea. I don't know what all these numbers. This one's a number two forty. Um, that's, um, the blank perfume ingredients, the blank 6% petals, de rose arome, brewing instructions per cup, infuse one tea bag with, oh, excuse me, with water heated to 80 centigrade for two to three minutes. <laughs> Now, I never time my tea. I just have this um, brewing, well, maturing. I don't think that's the right word, is it? <laughs> but anyway, that. Um... <laughs> oh, that is nice. Um, so that is all really I've got to say for now. Um, I'm waiting for my tea coming from Harrods as I say I missed it yesterday so when uh, they deliver it and I make another pot of tea <laughs> I will um, tell you all about it the taste I think I ordered about two different flavors I think I can't remember I ordered them at Christmas because I don't know what it is you know, I've got a taste for that lovely tea at Strelly. Um, so, let's see. Well, I wish you all a Happy New Year, by the way, for those that I haven't wished it to already. And I look forward to speaking to you again. <laughs> see you all soon. <laughs>